Hey Snickerdoodles, hope y'all are doing well. Um, so today, as I had said I would do, I am going to be removing the cushion grip um, from my uppers just to show you what that's like. Um, with cushion grip, so I haven't actually needed the cushion grip, but I wanted to leave it in and, and show you how to take it out after a couple days. Um, this is one of those places where it's just strange to me. It's very, um, have tactile issues, um, and like texture and consistency. And I'm just kind of weird like that. Um, so when I talk about how kind of damp everything is when you are working with dentures, this is one of those places, um, that is just very slimy for me. Not my jam. Uh, it's one of the things that I've had to get used to now that I have dentures. Um, and I realized actually the other day um, that one of the things that I had talked about was how strange it feels when your teeth uh, have been removed and swelling all kind of goes down. The topography of your mouth is so different and it's really bizarre because you don't really think about how what your mouth feels like right like when you when you have teeth it's just you have teeth it's not a big thing right when you have dentures it's like when you have all your teeth removed it's this completely different area of your own body that you're now getting used to and that's really weird to me um like if feeling you know the your gum line when you don't have teeth is a lot different than feeling it when you do. So it's, uh, that's been one of the weird things for me lately is being adjusted to that topography. Sorry about the weird lighting. Um, it was pouring rain earlier. Um, I'm going to see if I can just shut that. To be fair, I realized that I looked better in low lighting. So anyway, so I have had, uh, this cushion grip in for a couple days. So I'm going to flip the camera over and show you how I take it out. You will need a cup of hot water, um, which is supposed to make it softer and easier to remove. So I'm going to put this in, these in. They're already obviously warm um, from being in my mouth. I'm going to flip the camera around. Be back. All right, Snickerdoodle. So here are my upper dentures and sorry i literally just took them out of water that's not spit i swear to goodness um you can see how it kind of starts to um peel off i think a lot of this is actually from i did put a little adhesive on them a day ago but to take it off you're just kind of peeling it now i occasionally like you're literally just kind of digging at it and pulling it out the, so you can see it's coming off fairly easily in parts now i where i've had sorry that was right off camera um but for me because i do um use quite a bit up in here um and also where it's kind of got the little um, bubbles in the soft liner um, that I have a bit of a harder time getting out and I mean it's not like the world's soap I'm gonna put this back in for a minute to soften it because it's those little gaps that I find are really challenging to like I don't want to dig them out with oh there we go um, like I will use tweezers occasionally but you don't want to damage the the denture itself or you know, like I said, if you've got a silicone liner in there, you don't want to damage that. This is coming out a bit easier. I have, I've had ones that I've done where I literally am in there with like, sorry, tweezers, like just trying to get under to pull it up, especially because I don't have nails anymore. And when I had nails, it was a little bit easier, but, um, I've been gardening and beating and there was COVID and so... I didn't get my nails done. Anyway, I'll be back. Okay, so I just pulled those out and you can see it kind of, you can definitely tell where it is. 
And again, this is um, because I didn't need it. I didn't put a ton on. Um, but this is just to give you, you know, I wanted to be able to give you an actual experience as opposed to me just babbling like an idiot. I mean, that's what you get anyway, right? Um, <clears throat> so yeah, you just take it off and, you know, wash them, clean them. You're good to go. There's a little bit left there. It's always hard for me in this part to, um, take it off and, I've also had some experiences where I have done a horrible job with the cushion grip and ended up with like just the most uncomfortable kind of random white. It looked like I had dumped like school glue on them or something that kind of Elmer's white pasty yuck. Anyway, so when it went out, it, it really does like it's now this like kind of hard, crispy, plasticky it's really weird um so that was my cushion grip removal that's again this is one of those things like this is how i do it i don't know how everyone else does it and i keep like i said i keep thinking oh there's got to be a right way and a wrong way i don't think there is i think it's just whatever works for you personally um yeah there's not a, a ton to it um, I just put, took it out. It's funny because you can really feel where the uncomfortable spots are after a couple days with that in. Um, like right now there's a specific spot that it's kind of rubbing against. So what you can do is just use the cushion grip to kind of even that out. Um, which is probably what I will do. Yeah. That's the whole video. That's it. That's the whole entire video. I don't think I have anything fun or exciting right now other than the bizarre topography thing. Yeah, no, that's it. Uh, I have found I'm I'm currently reviewing reviewing um, a whole skincare line. I got a not affiliate at all. Not like I trying it out to review. I just literally am trying it out personally. And if it doesn't suck, um, I will let you know because of all of the, you know, the way your skin goes when you have had all your teeth removed. So, um, I will, I will let you know on that and I will talk to you soon, Snickerdoodles.